welcome to my channel welcome to this week's floss tube i hope i can do it the kid is awake hubby's in the background and i have a load of stuff i think yes i have got a load of stuff to show you so let me sorry tip that up just a smidge okay all right um i don't even know where to start i'll, I'll show you the stuff that you can't see how about i do that <laughs> that's kind of interesting oh dear um, this is, this is, um, Sophie's trying to give me a snake just to keep me amused. All right. I haven't opened this yet. This is Cross Stitcher magazine and this is, you know, from September because, you know, why would Australia get magazines in a fast fashion? I think I bought that two weeks ago. I haven't had a chance to record it and get that up. So you will see this sometime in December. Um, so there's that. Now, the Sassy Devil's pouch arrived. It's frog themed. I have opened a couple on my vlog. I will put the links here in, in the eye. Sorry, here in the eye. Okay, somewhere up in the corner. Um, the Sassy Devil pouch is being opened every odd day on my vlogs. So, um, there's 11 in the whole thing. So it's just to kind of get me through till Christmas. Now, I opened one of these yesterday and the consensus when I asked answers on a postcard please should I open these on a daily basis now or should I do what was intended this is a 12 days of Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets 2020 uh, for, by the Forbidden Fiber Company this is yarn and it's an advent no sorry it's not an advent box it's the 12 days of Christmas so if you're not already aware the 12 days of Christmas is the 12 days following Christmas Day and I'd forgotten this until I actually read this little letter so let me read the little letter that you get on you know good card stock from Leanne at Forbidden Fiber thank you so much for being part of the second year I didn't even know the, this two years ago for the second year of 12 days of Harry Potter I had so much fun going through back through the Chamber of Secrets to find inspiration for the colorways and other accessories. Black and white patterns designed especially for this kit are included in this box based on your choice of knit or crochet or both. A full color PDF will be available after the first of the year, so January. Uh, we didn't want to spoil the color surprise. These designs, uh, see, sorry, these kits are designed to be opened starting on Boxing Day, December 26th through to what she calls Three Kings Day, January 6th. I used to call it Little Christmas. It is the day that the Three Kings allegedly arrived at the stable in Bethlehem to see Jesus, which is why we have the, the 12 days of Christmas. And I'd completely forgotten that it was the 12 days of Christmas. It was after Christmas, not before. Advent is before 12 days or after. Okay, I'll catch up eventually. So feel free to open them as you please. Hence me getting into it. The first one because what I thought I would do before I had opened it and realized it was the 12 days of Christmas after Christmas what I thought I would do was open these on alternate days to the sassy pouch so I'd have one per day going through the month of December so it was answers on a postcard please do I do this now or do I do this after Christmas uh, for a little extra fun jo join our first photo challenge on Instagram there is a hashtag uh, FF C, so, um, sorry, what was it? Um, <laughs> Forbidden Fibre Co. FFC, 12 days HP, 2020. Post as follows, December 26th, unboxing. Photo of your box and your favourite Harry Potter collectible or memorabilia. I don't have any, I've just got the movie collection. And the books, I've now got the books. Uh, January 1, whip. Post a photo of the skeins you've opened so far, so there should be five or six so that you've opened so far and or progress on your project if you have opened it beforehand. January 6th, the end of the 12 days of Christmas. Accessories. Post a photo of the extras from your box. There's extras in here. The extras from your box. Thank you, Sophie. Along with all your yarn and or your project. Make sure you use the hashtag as we will pick one entry at random to win a $25 gift certificate to the shop. Um, let me... Yeah, that's not yummy. That's an eraser. Put it in the bin. Uh, we can't wait to see how creative you can be. So I suddenly kind of went, oh, what do I do? So I opened one 
yesterday. I can't recall where I put it. I think I put it into my floss bag, which is over to my side. So there's that. So I'm holding off. I haven't even seen what the pattern is yet. And I'm holding off until I get a little bit more of a consensus as to whether I'd go for it and do it now or not. But isn't it cute? Gorgeous purple box. It arrived in a, um, a US postal box, which was even bigger. Um, you know, so it's perfectly protected. It's a really handy size. I mean, you could potentially fit your needles into this um, if they're not the, you know, really, really long ones. So there's that. And next year, my plan is to get into the advent calendar kind of thing in May, June, because I've watched Heike. She said that she got an advent calendar back in May this year. She's got something like four advent calendars on the go. And it's amazing seeing the different things. So wait until you see the fiber that came out of fiber flux or fi forbidden fiber. Sorry, I keep mixing them up. The forbidden. This is I'm just going to go from the top of the box. OK, this is my Dark Queen of the Sea Sal. This is the Not a Mermaid Stitch Along by Autumn Lane Stitchery. Oh, my God. She's starting to get bad words called spoken to her because she's turned into a, a mean bitch, let's just say. And we've had the next drop. Oh, good golly, we've had the next drop. So progress. I had the fishies done. I had the body done. This was boob month. Okay, and I decided to go for the boob month. We got to do the kazungas, whatever you want to call them. Bazungas? Uh, I don't know. Sorry, I, I was just... He was just transfixed on boobs, yes. Well, there was a choice between exposed or unexposed nipples. Um, Dave? It, Dave's probably not watching my floss tubes, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it was watching a video... No, you clearly have not been paying enough attention, but I gave her concealment. So, there she is. Let me uh, do a little bit of um, jiggery pokery for just a brief second, if I can. You're saying that you've got some boob porn over there. Um, well, it's not quite boob porn, no. So, there she is. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? This bloody arm, though. Oh, I stitched all the way down to somewhere around here and I went, oh, it's not lining up with this bit of coral. Turned out I had a blob here that was off by one stitch. And then I frogged it back up and I tried going back down again. And then I was way, way off. So I've actually got to frog it a bit further up, potentially. But I ended up starting from the finger and working my way up. I haven't had a chance to stitch in the last couple of days because life and I had given two weeks off from this thing altogether which was really bad I don't do that um, if you're doing a stitch along get it done somebody's already finished the next part so because I hadn't finished her arm by the first I was madly trying to stitch and catch up on her arm and I'll stop waving my hands over her picture because then you can get to see her in all her glory um, this is a one over one in the very center of her six pack and then the rest is all normal Ada stitch on the 16 count um, Leslie Lafleur under the sea fabric, um, her um, opal linen that she did bewitched. So, um, I was madly, madly stitching, and I said to two of my friends, I said, "Do not give me spoilers. I'm not looking until I get the arm done." Well, okay, I stayed off Facebook all that day because I didn't come to the computer. I went to the couch, and. Then I made the mistake of opening my Instagram and a picture appeared and the colours were familiar because, you know, the purples and blues and stuff. And I went, oh my God, and flicked straight off the screen as quick as I could. But I knew what section we were doing next. And there was a lot of controversy on the group. We were joking back and forth. And Aaron is such a good game player. Um, love his creativity and love his inclusion of Crazy Stitchers. Um, so there was jokes about whether she was a hag or a harlot. There was cartoon gifs going up and all this kind of thing about whether she was even crocodilian almost. Um, so it turns out that we're doing the face and the hair. That's the next step. And I am giving you no further spoilers than that. Let's just say we're playing with shapes and colors. Wow. And 
Aaron is going to even more effort that it's a kind of user pay if you want to have even more colors available to you. So if you want to still join in on this, um, you can. You can still buy the pattern off Etsy and then you can join the Facebook group and be a part of the craziness. Some people are still starting. Some people are still on the single fish. Some people are still waiting on their floss and bead packs from Leslie. Um, but yes, you can absolutely still join. There are still, what are we on? Um, four parts have been dropped. So there's eight still to go um, to get her finished. So head and hair. Uh, and then there's tridents, there's tentacles, there's seaweed. I'm, I'm only guessing. What I did think though, is we're getting some major spoilers with the colors in these. These are the needle minders. Well, this is one of them. There is another one that is not in the bag. I have a go bag and I have a reserve all the other colors. So there's two cover, sorry, needle minders that were given to us. Um, and I didn't realize, but they actually are spoilers from the color point of view and things like that. So um, yeah, secrets and surprises. So I will try and very roughly put this away. Now, oh, while I'm here, I'll show you my nifty trick. Um, I've been knitting in the car, and I'll tell you more about that later. I just want to get this tucked away. And I know I'm just kind of jamming it in, but I'll fix it as soon as I get onto the couch. Um, this has been now put onto the dashboard to then put the pattern on top of it on my knitting. And I still use this kind of thing. It's a non-slip mat. I still use this kind of thing over the couch arm and I've been putting this onto it so that my phone sticks to it so I can read my pattern keeper on it. Oh, there's a big issue with number three, with the pattern, there is a line missing on the arm. You need to open it up in a PDF reader find that line which is where the join is there should actually be an extra line on the bottom chart so you're going to miss a line if you're going on pattern keeper there I don't know what the glitch was because you put in that there was two lines and for some reason it's only reading once so maybe you need to put in that there's three I haven't played with it so can't guarantee that fix um other than that pattern keeper is freaking awesome right this is my knitting I have loved this so much however I got to the last five rows and I don't know what I was thinking, doing or whatever. And I went and looked at it and I went, oh, it's inside out. As in the, um, the tails were all coming out. And I thought, oh yeah, the tails coming out isn't going to be a problem. And then of course I looked at it in a bit more detail and went, oh, you idiot, Pippa. You, your knit's going to be backwards too. So I frogged it all the way back down to the texture section. And then I realized after I had done the first two rows and I was damned if I was gonna frog it again, I had the knit still backwards. So I've left it in, it's now a texture, it's now a feature, but it enabled me to fix this border here. This pattern here of the lace work, I had completely cocked it up. I don't know if you've ever tried lace work before. I don't know if this is accurate. It doesn't look like it's accurate. Either way, it's done and it's a lot less holy than the first effort was. It was a complete and utter, dog, utter dog's breakfast. And it was quite hilarious that I, uh, the instructions were, um, I don't think you really call it knitting. <laughs> no, we, we didn't call it knitting. I think we called it even worse than holy socks. It was something, we gave it a very funny name. Um, but it was something like yarn over, knit to, um, no, it, it was, a, yeah, it was a yarn over, knit two together. Uh, then it was knit, yarn over, knit five or slip stitches and then knit three. And I was, what I was ending up doing was knitting three stitches together effectively. So making a monstrous hole. And then what I ended up doing because I had taken out so many stitches was to increase it on the next knit lots of rows. Yeah, it, it really was not the right way to do it. And my texture is more lined in this section now with those little um, loops. My counting has improved and then I'm into this knit section. So I'm finishing off my fourth color um, and going into my fifth color, which is kind of a green 
Um, but there you go. There's, sorry, I will get you zoomed back out again. So give me a brief second to find a corner. And um, you can see it more in its kind of entirety, or at least as much as I can. Right, so there you go. So you got all the, the colours. So you've got the main colour, you've got the first brown, the second golden, and then the darker brown, because there's browns in this green, and then the green green is, you know, green. Um, it's still in there, because I have to, I had to actually reattach this. So what I have also learned is how to weave in my ends. There was a video with instructions, and I tried following it while I was driving. He was driving, I was the passenger. But while I was knitting on the road and I could not get it. But I was looking at the way it was going and I'm kind of thinking, oh my God, is this genius or what? And basically what I've been doing is flipping the tail over the line of the, the wool and then doing the knit stitch. So it was kind of tucking it into the back of the knit stitch. Um, it works for me. It, could, it might not be correct, but my tail has now disappeared and I can cut off where it's out. So I Please no longer say, have these terrible says, long quick tails. Please insert a quick comment there, just, just, just to be sure, so that nobody mistakes what you've said. With? Disclaimer, flashing sign across the top of everything, don't knit and drive. No, don't knit and drive. My um, husband is making sure that you are aware that you're not to knit and drive. He has tried um, the car self-driving, but no. <laughs> we have a car that supposedly does some kind of behaviour that changes. All right, anyway, stitching. Um, peppermint purple. My progress on peppermint purple. We got a drop on Wednesday. I haven't done it yet, but I have printed the um, pattern. So I won't show you the patterns, but we're on to the last row. It's... Um, kind of happy sad it's been a hell of a project I just stick my floss for the week there so I'm ready to go and this week's pattern as is really really cute and um, I may end up actually well, let's see no because this one's pretty full I'm going to turn this on its side so you can actually see it all so there you go all right so the border is from week 15 it's actually from this week here where the balls were um and it's basically the pattern without the ball on this so i'll just hold this for you for a second and um yeah we have this week given to us so there's three left it's like and i started i joined the group on week nine i bought the um, materials and had to wait for it to get here and that was week 11 and I've been going ever since each week now granted this week was easy because it was tiny the word was all done when we got the phrase here um, in that week and the whole thing says everything has got to end sometime otherwise nothing would ever get started and 2020 and the heart if you're wondering is there because that's when COVID hit um, the world um, in that week and you know the, the world just went all kinds of crazy so I think that's the COVID thing um, yeah so there's that progress there it is going to be bittersweet but Claire um, is Bradshaw I keep forgetting her name Claire Bradshaw is um, doing a new one for next year the boxes are going to be very similar the framing size is going to be the same but the boxes I think she was saying are square or there's a square version and another version so there's two different kind of prototypes for that and it is not too late for you to get the pattern for that because you just need to get the current week and you're done you've got every single week and the alternates will be included as well in the final um, so you can join in in 2020 and then join 2021 the workload itself is not that great that you couldn't continue um, to do both you know next to each other and I'm kicking myself because her botanicals is finished um, and I saw one lady had done it in a chart with the month, the uh, birth flower, and then the optional extras. And it's just this grid of, I think, five or six across and then 12 down. Looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'm kind of thinking, dang it, I 
haven't seen enough updates on that to keep me going. I think I've got the flosses that would have done it, um, but I haven't actually got there. I have downloaded the patterns on my phone, but I need to get them on my computer and actually print them off too. Um, I have, I think, maybe done up until July. Oh, here is the Forbidden Fibre. So I was going to put the Forbidden Fibre into here as it opened. And that's rather stiff, which is interesting. So, you ready for a sneak peek in the Forbidden Fibre? So this is the Harry Potter colour. Isn't it gorgeous? This is the um, Moaning Myrtle. And it gives you a little bit of a blurb about who Moaning Myrtle is and how she was killed by Salazar Slytherin, um, by the snake. When she saw the snake in the years gone by and she died and she became a ghost in the girls bathroom just to scare the girls because she was being bullied too so this is from forbidden fiber company it is a 100 percent superwash merino it's 87 yards or 20 grams so you know small but not too small um but that's the black and gray kind of black gray white kind of cream tones cannot wait really 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 looking forward to where this is going to go so that's the forbidden fiber company and you will see that in its entirety i will be doing it as a bit by bit by bit and then what i'll do is do a kind of presentation maybe whether that presentation just gets popped in with floss tube for january or not we'll see what it well it won't all be finished so it won't be in january so no um this was day two of the frog sassy pouch the purple pouch if you're in australia you can get the sassy devil's pouch delivered to you the thread club which will be coming up later is international so just keep that one in mind but this was in the frog pouch it wasn't in anything so i opened two days at once so yes the frog is all kinds of cute it's a beautiful pattern um picture i'm going to kill you sophie sophie you need to go she's being cheeky and coming in from the back of the screen now so yeah um that's the only reason why the frog is visible so there's um froggy as i said now um one thing that you can do with peppermint purple claire has this on her website this is the thread pack for next year's stitch along if you're interested in this go to peppermintpurple.com i think it's dot com it's not on here um i think it's dot com um you can buy the thread pack there are 34 colors in the kit for next year it's just something easy. From my point of view, I didn't even check what colours I had, didn't have or anything else. But from my point of view, having something like that was fairly easy. You know, it's it's reasonably uncomplicated. I can put it into my work bag and now I just need to pick the colour of fabric that I'm going to do. And boy, do I have some choices now because you'll see them shortly. So there's that. Get that if you're interested. If not, raise your stash. Um, no problems with that. Um, Secret Santa. My Secret Santa, I'm part of an Elfster Secret Santa. And in Secret Santa on Elfster, you can put a wish list on. So I had linked a whole heap of stuff on Secret Santa that I would like. And the two things that I got from my Secret Santa are these. So you may be familiar with Albie. Albie was purchased by me. A couple of months ago and when I found Agnes's site this is Agnes's little minders when I found her site I absolutely fell in love with the dragon she puts these little clay bits on the back magnet so she makes it all pretty okay so this is Albie because of the AB kind of shimmer and if you're familiar with diamond painting you'll understand why I say that this I was looking at and isn't she gorgeous so this is the, you know the flaming kind of color so the orange and gold kind of thing she has been named tina for the word tina in ireland so it's you know for fire so she is my fire dragon and she lives next to alby and again the cover minder is in the complementary colors as well so that's tina and alby and she was a secret santa gift and it, yeah she's beautiful um so agnes's little minders she's on etsy 
she's on Facebook and um, she's got every well she's got all sorts of things so if you're not into dragons there's owls there's bats there's octopus there's seahorses um, she did a Halloween theme um, so it might not suit you having a dragon why not but it may suit you to have a mermaid or something like that so you know please consider going on to Agnes's site and checking her out this one I have purchased before from the Blackwork Company and love their in it kits everything is in it it's a 28 count even weave and I ordered the two before as a bit of a challenge for me and that was before I started dealing with the not a mermaid stitch long because she's on linen so I need to get a name I think I was calling her Ursula um, so anyway she's on linen and I've got used to using it I have a light over my shoulder I have a magnifying glass that I use that is a yarn tree wholesale purchase so my local stitching shop actually bought these it's a four inch rectangle um, it's got a clear frame I can't give you the link other than it's on yarn tree and look for magnifiers there and the four inch I have tried finding it for friends and can't so you might need to contact your local stitching company or store and ask them to order it in from yarn tree from the wholesalers or send them the link and get them to order it for you it was $20 here I think it's around $8 US really really cheap um, good size it's clear frame so you don't have the frame impinging your view or anything oh, I've just got a snake again so anyway the blackwork company I'm going to be able to work on this now because I'm going to be able to see the stitches that was the whole point of giving you that spiel about the magnifier really really good magnifier but yeah I'm going to be able to work on my gorgeous fox so very very pretty love the winter scene love the birch trees so thank you very much for that one um and it comes in kind of like a project bag like it's got everything it's got the needle it's got the thread and everything else um we will stay on thready things so i've got that i think i've got that there's more there's there's knit stuff down there too but let's let's go with this one i can't remember what it is yeah okay oh i see right right I'll leave that aside. That's from Beast It to me. Spoilers. Um, I'll go through that when I go through the rest of the haul from Brandy. Okay, so this is the Threads in Time um, subscription um, clubs from my Stitch in Time. So it's the Threads in Time Stitch, sorry, Thread Club, um, where you subscribe and you get threads each month. Does that make sense? This one I've discontinued. I just don't like the bobbins. I already mentioned it to you um, on the last floss tube. And I, yeah, I'm just going to pass. So the Overdesoy 100.3, I'm not going to get any longer. But the colours are gorgeous. There is a video and I will have it linked in the eye um, round about now. These, I am continuing the rest of them for now. Until I you know be a mean adult and say no Pippa no stop buying um so these are the five colors again details are in the full video where I did the unboxing and showed each of these individually so it's 121 through to 125 I believe in the Avertisoy d'Alger thread club for November now these ones are the um, sampler threads the gentle art threads so again six colors following alphabetically I think we have got on to B no amethyst no we might still be on A um, yeah there's a bit to go I'm not sure which one is like how long each one is all I was told is this, this club was so ever many months if I have got that detail I'll put it down in the description in, sorry not in the description in the running thing that I put down the bottom excuse me Weeks Dye Works, sorry, my kid is being cheeky. Um, Weeks Dye Works were onto bees, and Man. these are gorgeous purple. Is he in my pocket? Purples, greens, browns. Um, some of the names are a little bit kind of really, <laughs> but I love them as well. These are all US as well, so if you can get a subscription box with your, you know, with a local store, 
support your local store. Um, but if you're wanting to buy them at Aussie prices, you know, you get six in the, in the pack, I think, five, five, six in a pack um, for each of these, showcasing each of these in the order. Um, so yeah, and then there's the classic colour works. I wish they did a Cottage Garden Thread Club, but I haven't seen that yet. Cottage Garden is Australian and that I would support to um, everyone. Cottage Garden Threads are amazing. All right, so there is that. Okay. No, Sophie. No, put it down. Put it down. Go away, I'm recording. Okay. This is Bee Stitch Me Hall. You ready? What? Excellent. Surprise, surprise. Um, this is actually, I think, three Friday Night Fight Nights. Brandy has consolidated them for me and sent it in one shipment. 50 yards of stardust. The pretty blues. Again, you go to the Bee Stitch Me video. I can only put five links in the video, so um, go hunting. They're released on Saturdays, my flossy type of videos, so um, you'll see them on the weekends. This is through the stones, and isn't it gorgeous? It's just like kind of green. And there is also a matching through the stones. Um, fabric, that one. This is Cauldron, it's 100 meters. These two were 50, and then this last one is 50, and that is Hibiscus. So there are those flosses. So Brandy does floss as well as fabric. Again, these have been opened fully, photographed, and shown in much more detail on the video. Uh, it's just a red, but it's an eight, a 16 count, fat quarter. Um, there, there's Banshee, which is a mottled grey, uh, fat quarter, Ada, um, 14 count. Poison Apple, oh good lord, if you can get your hands on Poison Apple, go to her website, bestitchme.com, um, I think it is, uh, Poison Apple is a mixture of greens and purples, kind of bluey, bluey green purple, it's amazing, get your hands on it, there are some gorgeous, gorgeous pieces of Poison Apple. Um, and that and that was a special order. I said, can I get some poison apple? And she said, yeah, it's 18 count. And I said, I don't care. Give it to me. So I'm going to go blind. <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> yeah. I, all right. Hibiscus. Pink. 8 to 16 count, which is my sweet spot. Fat quarter in that one. This one is a smog and hot pink. Smog is the grey. And then she's added the hot pink into that one. Again, 14 count. This is smog and sea glass so it's a little bit more blue all slightly different it's not a big piece it's probably smaller than a fat quarter this one so help me god what the heck am i doing i'm going to need a bigger magnifying glass let me warn you this i loved it s'mores the color was amazing and i hit please me please before i even looked at what count it was it's 46 count Oh my god, I'm going to die. I'm going to be treating it as if it's a 23, whatever the hell that is. It's still going to be tiny as all hell. It looks like shirt material. It's so fine. Help! Huh. This one is beautiful. This is a Lugana. It's an 18 by 27, so it's not quite a fat quarter. It's a little bit bigger. It's 25 count. It's the Heaven and Earth Design Sweet Spot. I don't know if it's going to be... Probably not going to be big enough for a heaven and earth design, but it might be okay for something like a Mirabilia. I don't know. I'm still new with all those kind of things. This is Phoenix. This is also a Lugana. This is 25 cat too. And it's an 18 by 27. And this is called Badlands. So it's kind of like green and brown mottle. And we're down to the bottom of the pile. This is Escape. It's 28 count, so I'm going to treat it like a 14. Um, it's a linen 18 by 27. Really, you know, good kind of piece to have, I think. I'm scared. Honestly, I am scared. So they came 
I think in the ugly envelope, but inside was the pretties because she started collecting for me. And the pretty is so pretty. So there is that. Now, are you ready for more? And then we'll get to the yarn. Ooh, this is Misty Mail. Now, Misty doesn't do her sales as often, thank God. But I do have a mystery box on the way to me. Because again, Misty, can I have a mystery box? They were all sold. I've got one. Pippa, it's yours. And I was like, <gasps> yeah. And then what was even better was, and I'm not going to be charging you for it until November. So it's only just been paid for. Excuse me, I need to drink. Oh, that's good. Tea at just the right temperature. Holy cow. I've been talking a bit today. Um, bugs and hisses. I could not resist this colour. And it's a half yard. It's a beast. It's 16 count. But it's pinkies and browns. And it's all kinds of cool. And the name is the best. <laughs> now. Again. Go to my mystic... Um, my mystic un unveloping on one of the weekends in November I can't even tell you which one it was go to my mystic mail and you will see these in more details and you will find out where I was when I was making these orders or be stitch me or whatever I think I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning for this thing I, yeah 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 and in my delirium I have ended up with three descents for me and I ended up getting two for a friend of mine as well. So I've got that in a mailer to go to her up on the mainland. So yeah, we just split the postage. Again, Misty will split postage for you. She billed her for the fabric and I will get paid for the bee stitch or whatever it was on eye coverage. So, you know, it's perfect. Um, so yeah, I descend 14 count Ada Charles Craft. This is different. It's more stiff if you're not used to the fabrics. Charles Craft feels much more stiff to the touch than Ada does, um, Ada Spygart. So this is an 18 by 30 and it's a 14 count and it's basically a purples and greens and it was in honour of um, Supreme Court judge whose name, um, Greta Gun, no not Greta Gunsberg, that's the kid. Oh, you know, the Supreme Court judge who died recently, her. It was in honour of her. No. Oh, she's been a pain. 14 count Ada Zweigart um, in I Descent. And it colours differently. So you can see the difference, if I get the shine off the bag, in how the yellows pick up in the Charles Craft from the Ada. And I know, there's another one. It's a 14 count Ada. It's a... It's bigger than a fat quarter. Um, it's an I Descent... Uh, um, 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 now the DD I think it was an I Descent Dark or something so there's that so it is a much darker red now this is a Please Scream Inside the Dark uh, there was a funny story with this one that made us chuckle um, hubby hadn't heard of the where the Please Scream Inside Your Heart saying had come from he probably didn't even know that there was a saying but anyway Scream Inside the Dark, it's an 8 of 16 opal, it's an 18 by 29, so again, bigger than a fat quarter. So if you like your bigger than a fat quarters, go to Misty. Um, dark Lima Bean, because it's green, it's opal, it's 16 count, and it's 18 by 29. I'm waiting for her to bring out the Monaco, and I'll be on it like hot sauce. Aren't you glad? Because it's orange and sherberty and light, and you know, why not? I know, yeah. Don't buy it at three o'clock in the morning. And the last one, Dark Spring Breeze, which is an Ada uh, 16, 18 by 29, but it's an opal and all the shiny and all the blingy. So that is my Misty haul. Are we there yet? And this was super packed as well. And it came with airheads. Sophie got into the airheads and I didn't. 
So I, she came out to me. I had a gift from Rachel that I had ordered. Um, and she'd put in a penguin and a Freddo caramel. I'd eaten the Freddo caramel after recording and had left the penguin. So she opened the penguin. I don't know how she, this kid knows that there's sweets in different kinds of wrappers, but she knows. She at, uh, had opened up the three airheads, put them into a bowl. She opened up the penguin, which was broken in half. She came to me and showed me her delights as she'd come to me walking in with, you know, a blue face and it all over her cheeks and I quickly snatched the penguin out of her hand and shoved it into my mouth and ate it in front of her. I'm a nice mum. But she didn't get the penguin. That's the most important thing. Um, now, I have yarn and, okay, please tell me how these work. And these are yarn. Okay, so I've got Knit Crate by two and Darn Good Yarn. But this was off AliExpress. I think I got the wrong finger direction. And I'm a, I'm a picker, not a thrower, I think, knitting. So I have one of these open. Maybe I've already got it in my bag. Okay, so you know the knitting rings that you sometimes see and they look all kinds of pretty well I've been wearing it on that hand but it's the wrong direction with the fish so I think you're meant to hold these on like the left I have more of these coming though because the plan was to sell them it's not going to focus because I'm no it's not going to focus let me do that and see if you'll behave so it's a fish um but the idea is it's supposed to catch Oh dear. It's supposed to catch the yarn, put a bit of tension on it while it's on your finger and you can knit without it looped around, you know, ten fingers five times kind of thing. So that was the kind of the idea, but I haven't been able to get the hang of that. So I need to maybe watch some videos and um, see if I can sing knit knitting Sophie. rings praises. Sophie. So there was that. Um, but now, yarn. This is now the way Knit Crate is going to come if you choose the Eco variety. Go to my Knit Crate box unboxing. I think Knit Crates go out midweek, so just go back through and look for Knit Crate. There is a playlist with Knit Crate and Darn Good Yarn together, so you can check out those. Um, the Eco bag is cheaper than the box. You've seen the blue boxes. Um, they're just behind my shoulder here. You've seen the kind of greeny blue boxes um, that they used to come in. Well, this is $3 cheaper. They plant a tree and they tell you the story of where the tree is going and what it's, you know, for. They also don't give you the pattern book. That's all PDF kind of thing downloadable online. And there was a story, but I don't see the story in there. I must have taken it out. Anyway. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you, Sophie. But I'm busy. No, no, I'm busy. Thank you. Uh-oh. She's dropped her cake. Um, oh, this was my double down box. That's right. So this, yeah. So this is an extra that I had ordered because I adored the colours. So this is the double down and this is Uru Yarn by Knit Crate Cotton Basics Stitch and Hustle. It's Stardust. Um, I think Rachel got Stardust um, in her collection for Knit Crate. 100% um, organic Pima cotton, double knit weight, um, 266 yards, 242 metres, 100 grams. Um, and then you have the pink, which is quite loose. I don't know, maybe I opened it. I'm really not good at doing the hanks. This is called Hustle. And again, all the same rest of the details, but that is the double down. So that's kind of like the bonus wool that I ordered separately. Um, but yeah, on the eco version, it comes out in a biodegrad biodegradable mailer. Um, the details might actually be in with the other one. Actually, we'll go with that one first. This 
is what I've put my chunk of yarn in. I'm not actually going to open it. So the details on the eco-friendly subscription, as I said, you get a tree. It's cheaper. Check out the rest of the details on the video because it's all there. But look at that chunky wool. It's going to make a gorgeous, gorgeous cowl. And I'm so looking forward to being able to knit with this. And it gives you the cowl pattern. There will be a knit, there will be a crochet. I haven't decided which one I will do because I have to go look at them. Um, but yeah, it's like all the delish. I mean, that's where you want to have the really soft, crunchy, chunky kind of, you know, feel. We don't get winter terribly long in Tasmania when you have to go out, but having something like that is awesome. All right. Darn good yarn. Um... Now, this always confuses me because on the yarn, it says $10 and I've had to clarify this. This is an old box. It doesn't have the sheepies inside and the recycling, reusing, upcycling, whatever you want to call it, tips. This is $10 for this box and shipping then for me is $10. So that's where the $20 cost is coming in for me. So I don't know. I may or may not continue. Um, ongoing although I do like really supporting the enterprise you don't get an awful lot I mean this is bigger but yeah this is called burgundy cherry the short story is it is a sport or two or fine it is um, $13.99 retail so you know you're getting your value for your money for, I suppose from that um, the hook size is 3.5 and the needles 3.25 so really really fine um, again, the artisans are doing this, you know, they're hand dyeing it in India and then Knit Crate are giving these out. This was box 18, 19. This is box 19. So if you're getting these boxes and you're not up to this kind of stage, um, this is what you're going to get in box 19. So you get this yarn here, which would be perfect for string art, which is what I did over my shoulder just here. Again, that video will be... Um, in the playlist I think for Darn Good Yarn as well when I did the string art with one of the balls that came out with that had a glitter through it from week 13 um, and then you get stitch gauge um, markers you know I, that you could have on your bags which is really cool and it's a $16 kind of you know retail price but it's made out of the um, light wood it's laser and laser etched it's got your measuring for your inch to get your grade and you've got your inch and your centimeters you know it's cool it's um it's a nice little gift and then of course you've got your book that tells you all about how the yarn came about who's doing it shows you the picture of them dyeing it and um all of that kind of thing i did actually think of reusing one of these boxes to send mail to somebody over on the mainland but um forgot to take it out with me when i was going out so i just bought a mailer box but you know you can recycle them that way you turn them all inside out you've got a brown box you don't even have the sheep you know on some of the older ones so if you're interested in that um again go check out the video the link will be in the description i think you can get your first box for five dollars with darn good yarn it's cheap um and with knit crate you also get a discount off on my links for that so yeah the box is empty we are done at you know 50 minutes um so yeah, you'll get to see the sassy patch. You'll get to see the fiber in more detail for the January video. I'm not even sure when the first Saturday in January falls. So I may be finished it or not, depending on the date. Um, but I'll certainly get you up to speed with the rest of those. Um, as I said, opening things on vlogs. So if you want to join me on opening the things in the vlogs, it's a bit more kind of behind the scenes. Yesterday, my camera fell off my bridge. So, you know, I didn't edit that out. I could have kept it, you know, and edited it out like I would for any other tech thing. Um, but I kept it in because, you know, it's a bit of fun. You get to see that it's not all fun and games in Pippa's world. So, um, yeah, you get to see how frazzled and busy I get too. Um, so, yeah, huge haul for November. Um, so coming up there will be um, the magazine flip through that you'll um, get to see in December. Otherwise it's going to be fairly light on for the December weekends. So um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, progress will hopefully be much more improved on my stitching and my knitting. I will hopefully have finished um, right for the middle of summer. 
go Pippa. Um, and I'll be able to show you all of that. So let me know what you think. Um, drop me a comment. Um, any questions, please hit me up in the comments with questions. If you are looking for links or looking for videos and you've looked and you cannot find them in my playlist, then please ask me where they are and I'll send you the link. Um, I don't want you going, ah, oh, I'm lost, I can't find such and such. And it, I know it's there. It's Most of this current stuff is going to be within November as well. Although the, the string art thing is older. Um, but that would be in the Darn Good Yarn playlist as well as, you know, accessories or how-tos or something. So pick and choose or just do a search um, and you'll get there. All right. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me. And I hope you've enjoyed my goodies. Um, and I hope you get to enjoy your own goodies, more to the point. Um, there's nothing quite like unboxing treats um, and, and pretty stuff and soft stuff. It's, it's all kinds of cool. All right, I will see you around in the next big floss tube and I will, you know, in January. And otherwise I will see you around during the weekends for the other stuff. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. <laughs>